Hey champions, Coach Sogo here. I've got a total body workout for you, starting with a Tabata timer. Uh, if you're also gonna need a yoga mat, a couple sets of weights, probably a 12 and 15 are uh, average for what we're gonna need tonight. Uh, so let's get started with your Tabata. Jumping jacks to get us started. Big arms, big legs. Catching some air under those feet, getting the heart rate up. Next up, static lateral lunge to punch. So we're going wide with your stance. Drop in a little bit as we lunge forward, cross across your body and punch forward. Getting those adductors to stretch out a little bit. And then going down for your bear kick through. So in your bear stance, knees are about two inches off the floor. We're gonna lift right hand, kick left foot through, back to center, bear stance to kick through. Make sure you're solid as you rotate and stabilize yourself on that one arm. If you need to tap your toe down on each side, that's an option as well. Alternating pop squat, drop into your squat, rotate to the side, back to your squat, rotate to the side. All right, so we have that twice that are going into block one. You're gonna need some weights. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab 12s because the upright row portion of the sumo squat is what gets me. I have some limited shoulder mobility. So in your sumo, you're going wide, angle your toes, chest is proud, ends, weights end to end. Push your knees apart, drop in your squat, straight up your zipper line, elbows high and wide. Make sure heels are down, chest stays up. We've got 12. Next up, hip hinge, reverse fly. So hinging at the hips, pull your shoulders back. We're gonna squeeze on the back of your shoulder. So up to shoulder height, resist gravity on the way down. Keep everything tight. You should feel a little pinch on the back of the shoulder right there. Next up, we're going to our hollow hold, close grip chest press. So I'm gonna to switch to a 15. Now I know we've done a close, uh, close grip press lately, but this one we're gonna activate your core just a little bit more. All right, so make yourself in the banana pose. Feet are up, head is up, elbow close to the rib cage. We're pressing, press that back to the floor. So we're getting some tricep. We're getting a little bit of shoulder, interior, and a lot of core. A little bit of pec too. All right, so 10 per side of your hollow hold, close grip press, making sure you're keeping that back pressed down. All right, now we've got an every minute on the minute. So I'm gonna clear my, my area. Every minute on the minute, EMOM. So four times through, you've got a minute to complete two exercises and rest out the rest of the minute and we'll start again. So a little bump to the heart right here as we go into a lateral step and shoot. So this is 12 total, each direction equals one, take a big leap to the side, shoot the basket, big leap, shoot. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, for a total of 12, and then a high knee three step. So we're gonna stick the knee up every third step, and when the knee comes up, that's what you count, okay? So, two, one, two, 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 three, four, we're going to 12, we stick that every third step, all right? Whatever you have left, you should have close to 20 seconds, maybe 22. Rest it out, then reset your timer again for another minute and do that four times. All right, so as quick as you can get those done, the more rest time you're gonna have before you start the next minute. All right, that's block two. Block three, we're gonna pick up weights again. This time, I'm picking my 12s back up because we're gonna get some triceps here. Might be able to do 15s, but anyway, we're gonna start here with your hands uh, holding the weights right in front of your chest. So my elbows are already in position for a kickback. Feet are under hips. We're gonna hinge at the waist, look at the floor, tricep kick back, back to center and stand. So we're always bringing those weights right back in front of your chest. Hinge, tricep kick back and stand. So that good morning gives that little uh, stretch to the hamstrings. And so you're gonna get that. You're also gonna get some lats. You're gonna get some biceps as you're holding those weights as well. All right, 12 is your number. I'm gonna go up a little bit. 
split stance high row. All right, so on this one, left foot forward, right foot back. Knuckles facing forward. We're going high and wide with the elbow. High and wide, we're gonna pinch on the lats, contracting those lats. 12 on the high row, elbow out high and wide and switch. High and wide. All right. And then going into your alternating bicep curl. So we're gonna be palms facing forward. We got 20 total alternating sides, so we'll end up getting 10 per side. Now notice on that contraction, we're coming up about three quarters of the way and down to quad, three quarters of the way, down to quad. That way you're not losing that contraction in the bicep. All right, three times through, we've got another EMOM coming in. This time you're gonna need a dumbbell though. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a 15, I think, for this one. We're gonna use a single arm dumbbell swing for eight each, and then we're gonna use it also for a power front press out of a jump squat. So here's our dumbbell swing. Feet are wider than hips. We're gonna keep your chest upright. We're only hinging, all right? So we're keeping our whole body straight, hinge in between the legs and pop. So squeeze your glutes to pop it up. After eight, see if you can go ahead and catch it on the fly and get your next eight. And then going into a front, a jump squat to power front press. Jump into your, drop into your squat, and as you jump, press forward. All right, squat, front press, out of the jump. If you're not jumping today, take it from a squat to a calf raise as your lower option. So eight swing, each arm, eight power, jump squat to power front press. Whatever you have left in the minute, rest. Start again, we got that four times through, all right? So get those done as quickly as you can so you have some rest time. You should have about 22 to 23 seconds of rest before you start the next round. All right, next our ab block, we're gonna do twice. So you're gonna be down on your back for all three of these. The first time through, 12, 12, 12. Second time through, 12, 12, and go till failure. I'll explain. All right, so down on your back. You can grab the edges of your mat a little bit for stability here. So we're gonna go straight up. You can put your head on the floor, that's fine. All right, we're gonna take our heels and lift our butt. Press your heels to the ceiling. Come back about eight inches. We got 12 hip thrusts. After you get your 12, bend your knees and roll. Knee roll, knees bent, bring knees to chest, pull your booty off the floor, and then we're going into leg pump. So legs are straight, heels together, your head is up, back is down, you pump 12 times. Right there, keep that back tight down to the mat. We're gonna repeat, but on that last time, you pump to failure until you can't pump anymore. All right, so the hip thrust again for 12, knee rolls for 12 and then leg pumps to failure. That will complete your workout. All five blocks, wrapping it up. You're amazing. Keep up the great work. You're awesome.